As of Wednesday, you will be deported. If you are a legal migrant in this country that has been found convicted or found guilty of committing a crime that falls under the category of sexual offense or domestic violence, be it sexual assault, be it beating your wife, child abandonment, child neglect, etc., etc., you will be deported. Now, granted, to be fair, prior to the passing of this bill by the U.S. House of Representatives introduced by Nancy May, it was already law in this country that that would happen, that you will be deported. Unless, however, if the offense, the sexual offense or the domestic violence offense either happened when you were still a minor or if you were found guilty, you didn't do more than a year. So ironically, this video that I'm doing right now, I'm doing it responding to a comment from a prior video that I did a month ago. Talk about a situation, ironically, where there was a migrant here from a Central American country that had raped a woman in a that had raped a woman in a hotel. And after that was found guilty, did like six months in jail, got right back out of jail, and assaulted another woman um, in New Jersey. There are a lot of people who are against this. A lot of people look at this as fear baiting. A lot of people look at this as like this new tactic from the right to blame the, blame the migrants for all the issues of Americans as a whole. Me personally, and I'm biased in this because I cover these stories. I've seen far too many tales and stories, whether it was that nine-year-old girl in Ohio who got raped by an illegal migrant, a people of us letting people into this country who are... I have an issue with that. I just have an issue with that. I, I think this bill needs to be introduced. I get how, yes, there are some people who, if they were unlawfully convicted, will be deported. Yes, but at the same time, we're seeing far too many instances of this where you're just seeing... I don't where I get annoyed is a lot of these people that are found convicted of these of these crimes that are illegal migrants they get to stay in this country. Now, that is not to say that Americans don't do these sexual assaults or domestic violence. I think probably we have one of the highest rates of sexual assault or domestic violence in the world as far as a country. But you damn show sure can't come in here as an outsider and be able to stay and you ain't gonna add to the rate. You ain't gonna add to the rate. We ain't gonna do that. So no, we no, I'm I'm cool with this.